hi and welcome back to my channel if you're new don't forget to subscribe if you're already subscribed welcome back in this video I'm gonna be doing my 28 week pregnancy update the 28 week mark this is the beginning of the third trimester I can't believe that I've entered the third trimester now I'm feeling really good and just really pacing myself so not doing too much and trying to rest and relax as much as I can. At 28 weeks, the baby is the size of an eggplant, which is about this big and weighs about 2.2 pounds. At the 28 week mark, the full six months have gone by and I've now entered the beginning of the seventh month of pregnancy. We are just over mid-April here in Canada and there is still snow on the ground. We had a major ice storm on the weekend, which was pretty intense and very unusual for this time of year. Uh, I just made, I was extra careful not to go out on the ice. One thing I noticed was that I thought I could store my winter jacket away for good, but I did have to bring it out and it was so tight I couldn't even zip it up. Hopefully all the snow will melt away soon so I can start wearing spring clothes because I have collaborated with many brands now and I'm excited to share some maternity wear with you and some really cool fashion maternity clothing. That was one thing that I was having trouble finding was clothes that I felt like myself in, not, not I didn't wanna feel like I was being forced into clothes just because they were maternity clothes and bland and not so stylish, especially with spring and summer coming around. I just really wanted to continue feeling good and wearing really cool colors and patterns and designs. So I'll be doing a maternity clothing haul in a few videos from now and showing you some of the really cool and fun maternity wear that I've gotten. If you have any favorite maternity brands that are more fashion forward, um, more on trend, leave and share in the comments below. I would love to hear your suggestions or what brands you really loved wearing when you were pregnant. I have a meeting with my midwife on Monday, which is a few, which is a few days from now, and we're gonna redo the iron test just to make sure that the iron is still at the level that I managed to get it up, which is around 28. So I just did a previous video on the iron level, how I got my iron level up within 12 days. They say that during the third trimester it's really important just to take it easy and not do too much and really just enjoy this time that you have for yourself, which is what I've been doing. I've been drinking lots of lemon and ginger tea and listening to a lot of different styles of music and also connecting with other mothers-to-be or other mothers who have gone through this stage because I always love hearing your stories and just learning more about what worked for you and what didn't work. Last weekend I went to the baby show in Toronto and I decided to pop in and it's a huge convention of all the latest baby products and um, maternity and motherhood everything that you could imagine. I literally felt so overwhelmed because there were tons of pregnant women there and so many products, so many different strollers, so many different cribs and bassinets. But I would love to hear any feedback or any comments on how you chose a stroller, how you chose a crib, or how you chose your baby carrying gadgets, your car seat, all of that because I've been doing some research over the last few weeks and I'm really wanting to keep it as simple as possible. A lot of the strollers that I've seen in person, the good thing about going to the baby show is that I got to see all the brands out there. Looking at some of these strollers in person made me realize how bulky some of them are and just kind of maneuvering in and out of elevators or up the stairs or in the car, folding them up. Like those are all factors that I'm thinking about when I'm shopping for a stroller. If you have any favorite brands or any favorite things that has worked really well for you, just share them in the comments below. As far as sleep goes, it's it's becoming more challenging finding that comfortable position. And I find that that pregnancy pillow that I talked about in my last video, which I will link below in the description, has been saving me. So I literally, I carry it with me in bed and I, I'm able to easily maneuver and sort of tuck my stomach 
over it so it does make sleeping a little bit better and as far as cravings go and and eating I'm still eating the same as I normally do and again I'm not really experiencing any crazy unusual cravings so that's a good sign maybe my body is getting the right amount of nutrients and minerals so I'm feeling really good about that I have been slowly back at the gym I did find a seated elliptical machine which works a lot better than the standing one only because I had that posterior pelvic pain in my left left side for almost three weeks which was very very painful so I find now for a little bit of cardio just sitting on the bicycle and doing motions that way is really helpful and whenever I feel warm and just a little bit of a sweat it's I just that is my therapy and I feel so much better I'm also continuing to do upper body weights and bicep curls, tricep extensions, um, chest, back, just to make sure that I keep my posture strong and that I feel strong within. So I'm going to show you what my 28 week belly looks like. So this is what my 28 week tummy looks like from the front. <clears throat> this top is a little short, it's not a maternity top, but I really like the sleeves on it. And then this way as well. <clears throat> I find that the stomach is really coming out this way. So it's not really wide. It's not really a wide stomach. It's more a little bit more, <clears throat> more of an oval egg shape in the front, which is kind of neat because you can still see a little bit of the curves in the hip, but generally it's pretty it's pretty straight and <laughs> I've lost a little bit of the shape but baby is kicking a lot and feeling well that is my 28 week pregnancy update if you are in your 28th week leave a comment below let us know how you are doing what are some tips and tricks that are helping you throughout this week if you've gone through pregnancy I love reading your stories what are some things also that have really helped you in your third trimester I will do a video next week for my 29th week update and I will also go over some of the blood results that I do get thank you so much for watching don't don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!